Hello, you are watching Shalom World News. I'm Rory McLennan coming to you from Glasgow, Scotland. Here are the latest headlines from around the world. The Communist government of China has made a major shift in national policy by allowing couples to have three children. The three-child policy was announced on Monday, May the 31st, following the Politburo meeting chaired by President Xi Jinping. The world's most populous nation marked its lowest number of births since 1960 in 2020, which is seen as the result of its brutal one-child policy and forceful birth control measures, including contraception and forced abortions. Such measures led to the fertility rate dipping to 1.3, a figure much lower than 2.1, which is the replacement level fertility rate. In 2016, China revoked its one-child policy, allowing couples to have two children. As the country's working population is ageing, the new population measure aims to raise the number of young working people, the backbone of every economy. Similarly, an Argentine digital newsletter has warned of an impending demographic winter in the South American nation because of the anti-natalist policies pursued by the government. The newsletter Notivida reported in its May the 26th issue that anti-natalist policies pursued over the years and accelerated by the government of President Alberto Fernandez will pave the way for a demographic winter that is prevalent in many parts of the world. The report cites statistics provided by the government pointing to the steady dip in the number of births. The number of births recorded in 2019 was 625,441, compared to 777,012 in 2014, the lowest since 1980. In December last year, a new legislation to decriminalise abortion was passed, with the strong support of the President. Archbishop of Paris Michel Aupetit has deplored the May 29th attack on Catholics taking part in a procession commemorating the priests and archbishop martyred during the infamous Paris uprising in 1871. During the March of the Martyrs, a group of 300 Catholics, including women and children, was attacked by members of Antifa. The prelate expressed dismay that preaching about a god of love can arouse so much hatred and anger. Archbishop Opetit was speaking at a mass commemorating the 150th anniversary of the Catholic Martyrs of the Paris Commune at the Church of Notre Dame des Otages, which was built to honour the victims. The Paris Commune was a short lived insurrection against the government by left wing anti clerical elements. When the army crushed the revolt, the rebels executed their hostages, including Archbishop Georges Darboy of Paris. In a move which child rights activists and those fighting pornography have sharply criticised, a UN agency has said that there is no conclusive evidence to prove that children exposed to pornographic materials are harmed. The statement appears in a report published by UNICEF on how to address how government policy can protect children from harmful and violent content online. It is based on a European study which says that in most countries, most of the children who saw pornographic content were neither happy nor upset. Lisa Thompson, director of the Research Institute at the National Centre on Sexual Exploitation, said the report ignores the research showing the harms of pornography to children. Thompson said that pornographic materials contain horrific sexual abuse, rape, incest and racism, which children should not consume.